Halloween idea for Father's Day, I have two for you. You could get tickets to the Kohler Festival of Beer, which is coming up later this month, or just make this idea from Dan Dries. It's a pork tenderloin recipe. Correct. Dan Dries is from Whistling Straits in Kohler. Good morning. Good morning. All right, what is this that you're preparing for us today? All righty, we're going to do a grilled um, Berkshire pork tenderloin. And to go along with that, we have a little mop sauce. And that mop sauce has some beer in it, some molasses, um, and a little bit of vinegar. And then we're going to do a fresh uh, vegetable slaw to go along with it so it's not so much meat and potatoes. Uh, summertime, it's going to get warm mm, out, yep. so it's going to be a little bit it's lighter. It's nice to have something like that. Tenderloin. Doug is here to help. I'm ready. He's going to help sample and help <laughs> learn about this. So this is, uh, where do you want to start? Uh, we're going to start with the pork. So we okay. have uh, some pork tenderloin. We just cut it up into some little medallions. Lovely. Yeah, it's and we have some started already, but uh, first thing what we're going to do on the grill is just okay. a little salt and pepper. A um, couple things with grilling, you want to make sure it's nice and warm. Um, we're just going to set these on. You can use a little bit of oil or a little bit of pan spray. On the, on the grill? Yep, itself. on the grates. Okay. That'll help it from sticking. Okay. Another thing, uh, once you put it on, just let it sit for a while. Uh, lots of people like to move it around and think they're doing a lot, but just let it sit. Um, if it sticks to the grill, that means it's not ready to move. So oh. let it sit. Um, when it's ready to move, it should come off easily uh, with the pair of tongs. So. And for this size, w how long do you think it would take? Huh? Uh, these are going to take maybe about 8 to 10 minutes. Uh, that's another thing. Uh, people are always worried about undercooking things on the grill. Uh, really, you should be worried about overcooking things on yeah. the grill, so keep that in mind. Don't want to dry it out. Right. I always tell people a grill, if you have a lid on it, think of it as a five or 600 degree oven. That you okay. know, Things are going to cook actually fast in there. So. Do you want to talk about your mop sauce Sure. Now? So the mop sauce uh, that we're going to brush on, we're going to kind of do this towards the end, but it has some uh, molasses, some vinegar, a little bit of mustard. Uh, we use some ale in here. What kind of ale? Uh, we actually use the Jigger Ale. That, and where uh, does that come from? That comes from uh, Scotland, actually, but we feature it at uh, Black Wolf Run, Whistling Straits, and the Horse and Plow. Can you get it anywhere else in the nope. United States? Just at the Kohler Properties. That's what I heard. That's yeah, what I heard. I that. That's cool. <laughs> okay, so those have to cook for a while, yeah. so we'll move away from that and over here sure. to what you're going to serve with it. Yeah, we're going to do a nice uh, garden vegetable slaw, so um, you can kind of use what you have, what you see at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Or the farmer's market. Yeah. Farmer's right market, yep, too. starting to come in, so we're going to do a little bit of red and white cabbage. Um, give it a nice crunch, some um, bell peppers. Once I love again, the we're peppers. going, going great. for color. Uh, then we also have some jicama. This is I was going to ask you what that was. This Can is I a, yep, that? it's very crunchy. Um, comes I from Mexico, it. so it's texture, I would say, similar to a radish. Doesn't quite have the bite, but it has a lot of crunch to it's it. It's like in between a radish and an apple, sort of, yep. to me. Uh, have you ever have, had one? I have not. You go ahead and like try. Jicama. I'm usually scared when vegetables, vegetables? come into play. It yeah. doesn't have a whole Little carrot, little zucchini, and a little bit of cilantro. Oh, no. So it's just kind of, of you. it's kind of crunchy and wet. Trying new things today. Cilantro and then uh, a little bit of carrot as well and some okay. zucchini and then um, we have a dressing uh, which is mayo based. I kind of call it my my fancy fancy sauce. Okay. It's got mayo, ketchup, a little barbecue sauce, and some sriracha in there. There you go. Four ingredients nice mix it right. together Simple. with yeah. that. Yep. Now cooking demonstrations are a big part of the upcoming festival yep, of beer. Yep. The in festival Kohler. of beer. So it's very beer focused and cooking focused. So there's going to be lots of different demonstrations. Uh, lots of them around the grill, so if you want to learn the difference between um, charcoal and gas grilling, okay. uh, there's a demo on that. Uh, there's an interesting one on Saturday afternoon, uh, gluten-free beer and gluten-free cooking, so Ooh. kind of a hot topic. Um, one of the favorite events uh, that'll fill up fast is Chefs in Shorts. Um, <laughs> what, whatever the weather's like, I always tell people to wear your sunglasses because uh, chefs like me, we spend a lot of time in the kitchen, and, and uh, this will be the first time this year wearing shorts. So, so uh, the, the skin is rather pale at yeah. this point. <laughs> I call that the Wisconsin tan. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> um, and so we put links, we, we put the information there on the screen for you, but we have links on our website. So if you want to buy tickets for Dad or for yourself yeah. for the Kohler Festival of Beer, go online. KohlerAtHome.com is the link. And uh, it's coming up later this month. Dan, why don't you finish plating this up? Sure. We'll take a break. Have one more piece of jicama just to prove to yourself. One more to crunch away that I can do it. Doug. And um, we'll be back to sample. Look, coming Mom, up. I'm eating my vegetables.